Hello there, and welcome to the series on the basics of embedded audio programming. I am Renato from Guitars AI, and on this tutorial, we are going to configure the audio codec to use different input gains and different sampling uh, frequencies. So we are going to take a look into the registers to see how we can configure the programmable gain amplifier to control the input gain, and also take a look into the PLL and see how we can generate different sampling frequencies using the I squared C control to make these configurations. Let's get started. Different audio sources have different electrical output characteristics, such as voltage level and impedance. So here, for example, we can see that the microphone level is lower than the instrument level that is lower than the line level. And we can use um, a programmable gain amplifier that is uh, built in the audio codec to change the input gains and we can adjust the gain according to the source we are using. So here we have um, a block diagram of our audio codec. We have the left input, the right input, and we have here the PGA, the programmable gain amplifier that goes from 0 to 47.5 dBs in steps of 0 0.5 dB, so you can have, you, we must take a look at the data sheet of the uh, audio codec to see how we can make these configurations. So the audio codec fe features an analog programmable gain amplifier, a PGA, for boosting low level signals such as direct microphone inputs to full scale to achieve high signal to noise ratio. So we have our analog input, we have here our PGA, and this uh, PGA can be user controlled by writing to page one and registers 59 and 60. So this is what we, uh, we need to take a look. We also can set uh, the input resistor uh, three, three different values. Uh, we are not going to do this now, but it's also possible to, to change the input impedance by selecting these um, resistors, but we are going to write to the registers 59 and 60 on page 1. Depending on the, val the value that we set, we will go from 0 dB to 47.5 dBs. Another important configuration is the sampling rate configuration. So, uh, last time we used 48 kHz, but we can also change to multiples of 48 kHz and 24 12, and also we can adjust to 44.1 kilohertz. So for that, we need to uh, take a look at this um, USB stick technical reference, and we see that there is an external oscillator of 12 megahertz that it's connected to this pin called uh, M clock. So the sampling rate will be calculated by taking this reference of 12 megahertz and then there are a lot of registers that we can set and we can divide and manipulate this 12 megahertz to achieve the desired sampling frequency. So for that we've seen that it exists here an internal PLL. So the PLL is a phased locked loop so it's a control system that can generate an accurate output signal of frequency equal to or a multiple of the input signal frequency. So in this case, we have this external uh, 12 megahertz that's going to be uh, used as a reference and we can manipulate that to achieve a desired um, sampling frequency. So the uh, audio codec provides the option of using the on-chip PLL which supports a wide range of fractional multiplication values to generate the required clocks. So here we have a block diagram of the, um, uh, the PLL uh, the, the dividers to achieve different clocks. So we can select different references. In our case, we are going to select the M clock. Then the code clock will, we can also select different um, uh, values different signal reference but we are going to select the PLL clock so the master clock will be used and then we will have this manipulation here so we have registers R, J, D and P 
and then from this clock we will achieve the PLL clock that will be used for the code clock in and then we can also change these values here to achieve the final uh, sampling frequencies yeah so there are several programmable clock dividers to help to achieve a variety of sampling rates for ADC and DC and clocks for processing block. So as I said before, the clocks for the uh, ADC and DA uh, require a source reference clock and we are going to use the M clock that is connected to this 12 megahertz um, external oscillator. So the source reference clock for the codec can be chosen by programming the codec clock in value on page 0 register 4 so this we will be uh, selecting which clock we are using which reference signal we are using and also the PLL can be programmed in the page 0 registers 5 to 8 so the register uh, 5 we can turn on and off the the PLL then we on you know, digit 7 and we can change the values of the P register the R register the J and the D and we have some formulas to calculate uh, how to achieve the um, final sampling rate for that I just created some uh, functions here to help us to understand so for example if we have here uh, there is a f this is the formula to calculate what is the PLL clock from here so if we have the M clock here and then there is this block we set values for on these re regist registers and then we will have this PLL clock so for example if we have our 12 megahertz and then we set R equals to 1, P equals to 1, J equals to 7 and D equals to uh, 1680 then our PLL clock will be this value here. Now we also have different uh, clock dividers to get the value for the coded clock in and the final frequency here. So the coded clock in will have this PLL clock and then we have these extra dividers to achieve the sampling frequency. Here I'm providing this some, some functions just to make um, things easier to calculate the desired sampling frequency and to understand what's going on in these blocks to get different uh, clocks. So this we will calculate the PLL clock uh, according to the PLL clock in. So if we select the M clock in our case for example is 12 megahertz and we, we set R, P, J and D to these values here, 117, 1608, we will have this value for the PL clock that's going to be here. Then the code clock in will use the PLL clock. So, and then we have this extra clock dividers and then we have our final sampling frequency. So here we have also the registers for the code clock in um, clock dividers. And here I also provided a formula so you can get these formulas from the data sheet and then if you have the clock in is the PLL clock and then we set values for example 7 to 128 and this is the clock in is the PLL clock and then we have 48 kilohertz so uh, to make things easier we are going to try to keep things constant we are not going to change uh, the clock the reference clocks and we will try to for example, leave D, J, and R, and all these clock dividers constant. We will change just the value of P, and then we will have some different um, sampling frequencies. So with this function here, I can, for example, if I want to have the sampling frequency of 12,000 Hertz, I need to set the PLL PR register, this is register number 5, to this value of C1, and then I have 12 kilohertz. If I want uh, the 24 kilohertz, I need to set to this uh, 
uh, a1 so this is what uh, we are going to do on the next step so we've seen now that we can set different registers with different values to achieve different gains in different sampling frequencies and we're going to write a function to set the sampling frequency and the gain for that we need to write uh, to set some registers so there is this function this AIC3204.C is the register set so it takes the register number and a value and it will set using the I squared C we are going to look inside this function later on to see what it's doing but for now we will just use this function here to set register values and here we have this function set sampling frequency it takes a sampling frequency and a gain so we will set a default so the default to 48 kilohertz we need to set the register 5 the P and R uh, registers to the value 91 we can calculate from here so if we have 48,000 uh, Hertz it's value 91 here we limit the gain so if a person um, tries to set the gain higher than the 47.5 and we limit to 47.5 and here we are just bit shifting this value to have the correct um, values for the register at this point we're defining some sampling frequency uh, predefined values so as we are fixing a lot of uh, the registers and we we'll just want to change the p-value uh, we will have a limited number of values but of course you can change the program to s accept any kind of um, values for all the registers it's possible but here we have 48,000, 24, 16 and we get this PLLPR uh, values using this formula here so now we have a value for the PLLPR for the sampling frequency and also for the gain so we can start setting some uh, registers I will not talk about the I squared S now but we are configuring serial bus 0 for the I squared S then we are selecting page 0 resetting the codec point it to page 1 here we are defining that we are using the M clock for the PLO clock and the PLO clock for the codec clock in so we are setting uh, value 3 to register 4 you need to look at the um, data sheet to see what are the registers we need to set and which values correspond to which so uh, with this we are setting this path here so we are using the M clock and then we will have this block here and then we have the PLO clock and then we have these clock dividers here and then we have our sampling frequency so at this point now we are setting um, for example the J register then we are setting the D uh, register they're all part of this formula here to get the PLL uh, clock so they're here these values then we are at this point we are setting the PLLPR that we had here these values here so it's register 5 and we set the value that we choose and then we also have these other uh, clock dividers so we are fixing them to uh, some some values then there is also the possibility to do some routing so we are not going to talk about this but the uh, the audio codec provides many different uh, programmable uh, controls so we can adjust digital control volume we can adjust uh, add some um, f f uh, embedded filters we are not going to do this now we are just configuring the simply frequency so we have here we configured now the the PLOPR we're configuring the other registers and here at this point here we are configuring the gain for the left and right so th these are registers uh, 59 and 60 and then we are giving the value gain you can also look at the data sheet there are other things we can change we can change the as I mentioned there are these um, registers for um, input resistors with different values and then we achieve different uh, gains 
So now we already configured everything what we wanted to configure. We uh, give this uh, weight a bit so things get processed. There's some more configurations for i, I squared s and then we will return the output just for printing uh, the results. So now I'm back into the Code Composer Studio. This is our Hello World example from the previous time. I'm here at the main C. So just remembering that this this example just plays the input the input to the output. So it takes the stereo input, transform to mono, and play into the output. We have here uh, the header files we're including. We have here variables to hold uh, inputs and outputs. Now we are defining here samples per second. It's not 48,000 anymore. We are going to use that function we just talked about to set sampling frequency again. So this is now is uh, 24,000. And here we have the main function. So here to initialize the board. Here's to initialize a PLL, but this PLL is not the audio codec PLL. This is the PLL of the C5515 uh, processor. So don't be confused. This is a different PLL. Here we are initializing the hardware interface in I2C. And here we are initializing the audio codec. Then here we are just at the function we just talked about. So we are setting the gain to 30 and the samples per second to 24,000. Then we uh, loop through uh, the samples, we read from the um, audio codec, we go from stereo to mono, and then we write the uh, audio codec when it's ready, um, and we finish. So this is uh, an assembly instruction, so we can see this bit clear, XF, so if we look here, at the data uh, sheet from the um, USB stick and we look for uh, XF we know that there is a LED it's the XF so this what we're doing is we're turning this uh, LED uh, off so this LED stays here so we're a bit set as an assembly instruction just here but let's go inside the set sampling frequency and gain. So this is the functions we were talking about. There is, so we just discussed everything here. And one thing we can see is the definition of the register set. So it's here in this AEC3204, as we said. One thing interesting here is that it's using this uh, I squared C address. If we go back to the data sheet and we look for the uh, address, so we have memory addresses, but we also have the I squared C addressing, and we see that the audio codec is has an address of uh, 18 hexadecimal, and if we go to the definition of this, um, we see that it's 018, so it's just defining this address to use on the I square C write, and this function is on this file here, the I square C for the USB stick, and it will have some I square C instructions to write to this address and the data that it uh, wants to, to write. So we can uh, just now run our project to see now it's build finished. So we are here inside the main. Then when we resume here, we have, this is the configuration for the PLL inside the C5515 is not our audio codec. And here we are audio loop back from stereo in to, and now the sampling frequency is 24 Hertz. And again, is 30 and that's, exactly what we wanted.